afternoon, Coach. Um, what did you see in the second half that you guys were able to really make those runs, especially uh, down the stretch in the fourth quarter? Uh, but unfortunately, you came up a little short today. Um, I think going small, um, spacing them out a little bit. Um, you know, I think uh, for Zingas playing the five, you know, we had to space them out. Like they spaced us out a little bit. We was able to attack, get downhill, get into the paint, and uh, make plays for ourselves or our teammates. So um, going small and kind of creating that energy defensively as well, being able to track Luca, um, fire Luca, and change our defensive coverages as well. Thanks. We'll go next to Tomer. Hey, Ty, with regards to trapping Luca, it, it seemed to really work for you guys in that third quarter, kind of making other guys make shots. Um, did you feel like you maybe waited too late, or did you want to see if maybe he just cool off eventually? Like, how did you make that decision to just start trapping him? Um, well, just we went on the same page, you know, a few times. You know, we wanted to get out of his hands in the first half as well, and um, we just didn't execute the way we needed to. Uh, we had a lot of breakdowns, um, a lot of mistakes defensively that we didn't um, execute right. So we like to clean those things up, and uh, we'll be fine. But – you know, we all got to be on the same page defensively of what we're doing and what we're changing coverages as well. Thanks. We'll go next to Andrew Gray. It's hey, Ty. The, uh, the shooting struggles tonight, uh, was that, do you feel like, do you like the shot quality, though, of, of the attempts you got and it was just the shots weren't falling, uh, especially in that first half? Or what did you make of the offense you guys did generate? I might got to take a look at it, but I thought, you know, shot quality is pretty good in the first half. But I got to look at it, you know, like I said. But... Uh, we were getting shots. We were getting attempts. You know, we didn't make early on. Um, we still, we kept playing. You know, the good thing about it, we only had five turnovers um, that allowed us to stay in the game. So um, we're going to make shots. We understand that. But just defensively, we just got to clean some things up and make sure we're on the same page. Thanks. We'll go next to Om. Hey, Ty. When it came to Luca, um, how much was part of your plan entering the game to have Kawhi see time on Luca, especially like in the fourth quarter? Well, it's, it's, it really doesn't matter now because the game's so different. You know, you're going to switch one through four anyway. Um, so they're going to pick that matchup out and try to um, see who they want on them. So, you know, we switched it and then we fired at him in the second half. Um, did a good job in that fourth quarter. You know, I think hold him to one point in the fourth quarter. And um, other guys stepped up and made big shots. You know, Hardaway made big shots. Uh, Finney Smith made big shots. And then um, Brunson, you know, he just kind of got where he wanted to get to tonight. So we got to do a better job with him. Was there anything you saw uh, with PG offensively to that slow start for him in that first half? No, just uh, really getting to a really good offensive rhythm. Um, you know, I got to do a better job making sure I get him in the spots and get him in position. So um, I got to do a better job looking at the film and just, you know, see where I can, you know, pick his spots so we can get, you know, more clean looks um, and get better shot, you know, get better shots, you know, to start the game. Thanks, Elmo. We'll go next to Law. Hey, Ty, uh, when, whether you guys were big or, or small, uh, there were some challenges with rebounds. The uh, Mavericks got almost 20 po second chance points in this game. Like, what do you need from both your, your bigs and, and the rest of the roster as, as far as making those lineups work uh, for rebounding? Yeah, well, I think, you know, they have a stretch five in Porzingis, stretch five in Cleaver. So when the shot goes up, you know, if Zeus Garden, you know, Porzingis on the perimeter, it's hard for him to get down and rebound the ball. So um, they do a good job, like I said, spreading you out. It's going to be long rebounds. And um, those are the ones we got to get to. But, you know, when Zeus on the perimeter, when they space in Porzingis or Cleaver, um, it's tough for him to get down and rebound. So we got to do a better job collectively, hitting bodies and going to get it. You know, we know they're going to cut from the corner. We know they're going to crash. Um, so we got to do a better job of, of getting to bodies. Thanks. Next to Miriam. Hey, Ty, what would you make of Rondo's presence out there? It seemed like he kind of helped get PG going in the second half. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, Miriam. But, but, what, what do you make of Rondo's play out there? It looks like he helped get PG going in, in the second yeah, half. Yeah, I mean, just Rondo's pace, um, his IQ, um, you know, being in the playoffs as much as he has. Um, he understands the game and how important it is and how significant every possession is. And I mean, he did a good job of getting PG some easy shots early on. I mean, like in that third quarter. And, um, you know, we need Rondo to play like that. So um, we'll be fine. Um, one game, they won. Um, hats off to those guys that came in and played well. Do you think PG's second half will help him sort of keep it going or kind of get him warmed up and comfortable? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think he's going to be fine. And, you know, like I said, early on, I didn't really get him in positions to be successful. You know, Kawhi had it going. And uh, so we kind of rolled Kawhi early on, and PG kind of got out of rhythm. So in that second half, we made a conscious effort to try to get him going and get him in a rhythm um, as well. So, um, 
like I said, that, that's on me as far as PG start. You know, like I said, but the second half he came on and um, he was able to make some, some shots for us and kind of carry us in that second half. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Vincent. Hey, Ty, uh, what did you make of the shot selection, the quality of shots you got in the last four or five minutes? Did you Were you satisfied with it? Did you feel like guys got a little bit tight when the game started to get away from you? Uh, you got to ask them that. <laughs> but um, Outside, I think PG took a quick three in transition. It was kind of contested. But um, outside of that, I thought we got some good shots. I thought we got to our spots. We got some, some good looks and some good shots. But like I said, I got to see the tape and kind of review it. But for the most part, I thought we did a good job. And just a quick, quick follow-up, what was the mood of the team like in the locker room when you addressed them? Were guys a little more down than after a loss? Was it a typical sort of post-playoff loss, or was it a little something more? No, they, they, no, they were fine. You know, just – you know, we kind of um, did it to ourselves, you know, I would say because we had a lot of breakdowns, a lot of defensive uh, breakdowns that we went over for the last five days that we didn't execute. So uh, we got to be better in those areas. We can't give them points. They're too good. Um, Luca makes you pay every time you make a mistake. So um, we just got to be better with our coverages and understanding what we're trying to do. And um, we'll be able to clean up, like I said, going into Tuesday. Thanks. We'll go next to Ramona. Um, hey, hey, Ty. Hey, you've um, obviously been on a uh, on a team that came back from a three one deficit. You know all about you know how it, like in the playoffs you're not done until you're done. But how important is this this one game here at home with, with the home court advantage that I guess you in a sense you've given up? You mean Tuesday? What's that? You mean Tuesday's game? No, I'm saying home? like you you've obviously been through a lot of playoff wars where you've won from ahead in a series or won from behind with or without home court advantage. Now obviously obviously this this game here today. How important was it getting this game one? And, and what do you tell your team now that now that they're they've kind of forfeited this home court advantage? Oh, just some things we got to clean up. Like I said, we're very confident. Um, they came in and played well. We didn't execute um, as good as I would like to defensively. Um, so we're just gonna go to the film tomorrow, just show some guys some some things we can clean up, and we'll come back Tuesday ready to go. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Next to Mason. Hey Ty. Um. Obviously, some of the shots that, that Luca was hitting today were, you know, ridiculous, very difficult, high level of difficulty. Um, where, where, does, where does he rank in terms of individual offensive creators that you've had to deal with in the playoffs? I know you've had to deal with a lot of different matchups throughout your, your, your coaching career. So where, where does he rank among those, those right matchups? Up, right up at the top. You know, he does a great job of controlling the game, um, making guys better. You know, and um, like I said, he, he, he's a big moment player. Like he loves a big moment. And um, he made some big shots, some, some, some deep shots, some tough shots. And that's what great players do. So uh, we're not going to get discouraged by that. Like I said, we just got to clean up the things that we can clean up. And, you know, he's going to make some tough shots um, because all great players do. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Claudia. Hey, Ty. The Mavericks shot very well from the three-point line. How can you limit their three-point shooting and how can imp you improve yours? <laughs> Making, well, I was making some shots, you know, um, then we created some shots and um, they fired a Kawhi a little bit. So if we don't have the open shot, we can put it back down the floor and create for somebody else. But um, I thought we got some decent looks um, on their side of the basketball. Just understand our coverage and what we're trying to do. Um, but when you take the ball out of Luka's hands, you know, they have great three-point shooting. So we got to make sure we get out to those guys and make those guys put the ball on the floor. Thanks. Thanks, Ty. That's all the time we have. Yes, ma'am. See you next time. Our first question will come from Justin Russo. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Nick, how you doing? Good, you? Just, uh, good. Uh, you guys only shot 11 of 40 from three, but coach said just before you sat down that he thought the shot quality was actually pretty good in the first quarter. Despite the misses, do you feel generally comfortable with the types of shots that you guys were able to generate in this game? I mean, that's the way we play all year long. You know, we're a good three-point shooting team all year because we play that way. So, I know, they make shot today. Like you say, they went for 39. You got to do better than that for sure. And uh, we got a great shooter. And we prove it all year long. So, we're going to get back to that and make shot next game. Thank you. Thanks. I will go next to Cam. Hey, good afternoon, Nick. Good afternoon. You guys... Um, on the defensive side of the ball, you guys kind of gave up 60, over 60 points to the other guys. Uh, Finney Smith, Richardson, um, Brunson, Hardaway Jr. 
I know the plan was to kind of get the ball out of Luca's hands, but uh, you couldn't have counted on give, giving up that many points to those guys, right? I agree. No, I agree. You know, and if you want to win that series, I know we got to make sure like we got to take all those guys out of the series as well. You know, we know what Luca's going to do, obviously. So he's been a great player right? for the seats he got in the event before that. But uh, no, I'm going to make sure like to the other guys doesn't have a great series. And as they had, like, as you said, like some of those guys had like, great games today. They made big time shots when they needed to. So I'll get the better in this game. I'll make sure we shut them down. We that's what we need to do. If we want to win game two, don't get a step on defense. Do the same, do the better job on Luca for sure. But overall defense, make sure the other guys have a huge impact on the game. When you in the third quarter, you kind of took it looked like it appeared you took responsibility for Luca. You kind of slowed his game down. What did you do? How do you how do you do that? I mean, he's a tough, he's a tough scorer. How, how do you get in position um, to kind of slow him down and make that uh, make his game tough? How do you do that personally? You know, I just try as much as I can to deny him from the ball. And uh, when he had it, you now we try to, as you say, you now we try to make him give it up. So, especially in this, like, I think he had 30 points in the first three, he only one point in the fourth. Yeah. I don't think maybe I get it wrong, but I guess something like that. So, we just got to do a better job, right? Can have like 11 assists. No, we know like if he create plays for the other guys, no, we, we won't be in good shape. So we got to make sure you have like less playing. Make like, you make so many plays for the other guys, you got to make sure he doesn't do that next game, the rest of the series. And make sure to stop the other guys as well. So it's a team effort. We have to do it as a team. Thanks. Uh, we have time for one more. Go ahead, Tomer. And Nick, you guys were kind of able to contain Chris Stapp's, um play with some smaller lineups with that. Uh, is that something you feel you can exploit more? I know he has a height advantage, but you guys would have the, the floor spacing that way. Is that something you think you can explore, uh, exploit more moving forward? Maybe. Uh, I don't really know. We see what happened in game two, but maybe. Yeah. Well, what, what did you feel out there today? How did you feel like you guys did with that small ball lineup with him out there on the floor? No, we played the lineup a lot of time this year. That's not the first time we play in the lineup, so got to adjust. Now he's a great player, and we try to find some ways to take him out of the game. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do in that game two. We we'll see what happens. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Nico. We'll let you go. Hey, Paul. Um, what did you see down the stretch offensively from you guys in terms of shots you were getting and um, you know the inability to execute? Uh, I mean, I thought we got some good shots. Um, uh, I thought, you know, they were just making baskets. We were fouling, um, you know, which was uh, tough at that time because uh, we were rolling when we were able to get stops, get out, run, play with a faster pace. Um, <sighs> once they make shots and uh, we we or we put them to the line, um, it kind of messed with our, uh, our our flow at that point. Thanks. We'll go next to Tomer. APG, um, Ty mentioned that there was a lot of miscommunication and missed defensive assignments out there. Um, I'm just curious as to, I know it's game one, but you guys had a couple of days to review this. And I know Ty has mentioned that every, every team knows every team pretty well. Why do you think that that was, uh, that was the case out there tonight? Um, I mean, it's, it's just part of the game. You know, part of the game, we had a week off. Um, you know, uh, we, we, we just... Uh, we had great intentions. Um, we were just a little off on uh, a couple possessions. So what's what's the vibe of the locker room after a game like this? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's give uh, Dallas credit. You know what I mean? They're 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 a good team. Um, give all give them all the credit. They're a good team. Uh, this is a four or five matchup. Um, you know, so it's it's uh you know we 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 got to do better. We had to play better today. Um, but give them credit. Um, they came in. They executed. Um, we know we got to do better for game two. Thanks. We'll go next to Vincent. Hey, Paula, there's a lot of pressure from the outside on this team, and, and Ty has been pretty uh, outspoken about keeping you guys cool and not feeling that. But how do you guys keep from not feeling overwhelmed between now and game two and the specter of going down 2-0? 
Uh, I mean, <clears throat> you know, we, we we expect to play better. We expect to uh, be more dialed in game two. Uh, we're not looking at it as just because of who we have. We're expected to win. And we got the same pressure as every team that's in this. It all comes down to who's the last team standing. Um, and, and that's just the pressure every team goes through. Um, it's no different than what how we're approaching this. Uh, we want to be the last team standing, um, regardless of however many games it take um, or, or how, how tough the road is. Um, fact of the matter is, man, we want to be the last one standing. So uh, we got to be better for game two. And, um, you know, I, I plan on this team bouncing back. Thanks. We'll go next to Law. Hey, Paul, uh, this Dallas team, beyond just today, it felt like all season they've done a really good job of making shooters uncomfortable. Uh, even down the stretch in this game, the team missed their last seven threes. Uh, is there is, is it just a matter of you guys making shots or what do you feel Dallas is doing to take away the comfort level of the of the shots outside the paint? And how do you combat that part of it? Um, you know, we just got to just do a better job of, for one, you know, shooting it with confidence. Um, but, you know, just creating better opportunities for each other. Um, I think that's really what it comes down to. Thanks. We've got time for one more. Go ahead, Nick Hamilton. Hey, Paul, you talked about just uh, communication, but what are some of the things positively that you guys can take from game one and able to help you all and get a win in game two? Uh, I mean, I thought, you know, we had a lot of bad plays, um, a lot of breakdowns. Um, but, you know, when we were dialed in, when we were focused, um, we had a great stretch, uh, you know, where we took over the game. Um, you know, so that, that's just got to be us. That's got to be us. I think defensively we had great stretches where we were locked in, uh, shrinking the floor, flying around. Uh, that, that's just got to be us, you know, the whole 48 minutes. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Hey, Kawhi, I know the answer is probably a little bit of both, but in your mind, is it more critical to limit Dorian Finney-Smith and Tim Hardaway Jr. from going like 9-14 from three or limiting what Luka does on those switches or against blitzes? Um, we just did a good job. We made shots tonight. Um, I mean, we need to limit everybody. Um, you know, pretty much uh, whoever's out on that floor, uh, we need to do the best job we can to, you know, make them uh, – you know, make tough shots. Um, you know, as, as well, I like really say, uh, you know, they, they play well tonight. Thanks. We'll go to Law. Hey, Quiet. Ty discussed multiple times that there were breakdowns defensively, and we can see how some of those breakdowns might have happened while Luca was scoring, but he didn't score in the last six minutes. And and that's kind of where the game uh, got away from y'all for good. So what were some of those breakdowns and how do you go about correcting them? Um, defensively? Um, I think, I mean, I think they did a good job of, uh, you know, getting to spots, uh, making it hard for us to, uh, you know, get out of those blitzes, uh, double teams on Luka. And, um, you know, they, they got to the paint, they made, they made big shots. Um, you know, it just, you know, we got to look at the film to see what the communication factor was out there, uh, see where the miscues were, and, you know, just move forward from there. Thanks. We'll go next to Ohm. Hey, Kawhi, um, you guys didn't drop game one last year in the postseason at all. I was wondering what were you guys saying to each other after this game, and what do you need to see as far as how you guys can respond in game two? Uh, just play, just play overall better basketball. Um, you know, make sure uh, you know we play together. Um, we didn't make no shots tonight, um, especially uh, down the stretch uh, in the beginning of the game. Um, you know, it was a struggle for us to score as well. Um, so uh, just kind of just being in the moment. Uh, you know, making sure uh, our defense is is, is better um, at the start as well. And um, just keep moving from there. But, you know, everybody uh, is pretty positive and, you know, wants to get better. Thanks. We'll go next to Landon. Hey, Kawhi. Um, you guys did a great job of uh, boxing these guys out. Um, that seemed to be a weakness throughout the game for them. How can you guys continue to keep them off the boards on, on both sides of the floor? 
Uh, just, I mean, just knowing uh, when a shot goes up, when we're on defense, just go to your man and try to box him out. Uh, you know, um, guys come in uh, at those elbows, try to get the long rebounds. When they do miss, um, just, just keep communicating and, you know, making sure everybody's just doing their job pretty much. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Tomer. Well, you talked you talked about the the struggles offensively early, but overall on the night, I think you shot forty four percent. Were you happy with with the shots that you got on the night? Uh, yeah, I mean, I missed a few easy ones. Uh, you know, we I feel like we all did. Uh, you know, we missed some some shots tonight. Where were we? Uh, 28, 27 percent from three. Um, you know, hopefully some of those will flaw in the next game. And, um, you know, we just we shot the ball uh, eight more times in them, I believe. So hopefully, uh, you know, we could get the same shots next time and they fall. Thanks, time for one more. Go ahead, Vincent. Hey, Kawhi, uh, Ty was pretty loose after the game as far as not letting the one loss get to you. I mean, how, how do you as a player keep the locker room from feeling too much pressure between now and Tuesday in the specter of going down 2-0 with all the pressure and expectations you guys have headed into the playoffs this year? Um, it's based on us, uh, you know, what we want to do. Um, you know, this this is the game of basketball. Um, you're going to see this every night. Um, down, up one, down one. Uh, you got to come out, play the same basketball game, have fun with it play extremely hard, um, you know, but like I said, everybody was, uh, you know, pretty up. Um, nobody was really down on the game. Obviously, nobody wants to lose, but um, our spirits are still high and we believe in ourselves. Um, you know, nothing good, uh, you know, comes easy. Thanks, Kwai. Appreciate yeah. it. See you next time.